Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will be talking about how to create audio notifications. And I think this is pretty useful because just think about it, let's say you're running a huge piece of code and it's taking a long time. You don't want to just stare at the screen and wait for it to end. You want to just go do your things and when it's done, you want some sort of a notification. So an audio notification is a great way of doing this. So let's get started. Actually, there are two ways of doing this. The first one is you can import wind sound. Using wind sound, you can actually create kind of your own sound, actually. Um, and I will also import time because I want uh, the sound to last for a few seconds. So uh, I'll create a function called uh, make sound. And inside this function, I will define two parameters. So the first one will be the duration, which is in milliseconds. So I want it to run for one second, so I'll input 1000. And the second parameter is frequency, and this is in hertz, so I'll put 440 hertz. And then what I will do is I'll just use the function called bip, so windsound.bip. And bip will take in the frequency, and it will take in the duration. It will take, take in these two parameters. And yeah, that's about it. And you just put in done. So now the, um, uh, the beep will happen for uh, one second for, uh, in a frequency of 440 hertz. So let's just run this function. So make call the function called make sound. Uh, we just save it. And run it. so there you go. That's your audio cue. So this is pretty useful. You can actually play around with the frequency, uh, but be careful. Don't make it too high pitched. It might get uncomfortable. So um, so this is if you want to make your own sound. But if you want uh, a, a module which will give you some familiar sounds, so you can for that you can actually import the module called Chime. So import chime now chime is actually a pretty uh, good module because it has uh, the sounds already made for you so and it actually has a list of themes so let's print them out first so chime dot themes uh, let me just save it and run so there you go you have some themes uh, so you have the chime default theme you have mario if you played the game mario you'll know what i'm talking about you have Sonic, you have Zelda, so you have different types of um, themes. So for this video, I'm going to choose the theme uh, of Mario, so chime.theme Mario. And you can actually just uh, not add a theme and it will still work. It, it will just run the default theme in that case. Um, and there's actually four levels. So. The four levels are success, so I'll make a function for that. And for now, I'll just put it pass. And then the other one is warning, so I'll create a function for that. The other one is error, create another function for that. And finally, the other sound which it has is for info, so I'll create a function for that. So if you want a sound for success, all you have to do is chime dot success and, and that's it and the uh, audio cue for success will play out and uh, i'll just print out success so you know that the audio for success has played and i will actually wait for three seconds for the audio to play out and i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it here and just replace it with warning so it's actually very uh simple it's just like one line, and all you have to do is just call the function, and it will play the sound for you. And here I'll pass an info. So, and then I'll call in all the functions. So the first function is called success. And then warning, error, and information. And yeah, so this is, all your sounds. So let's just run it. So that's success. That is warning. 
that's error and that's info. So you can see that, and, and if you played the game uh, Mario, you'll probably recognize those uh, sounds actually. So yeah, I think this uh, code is very useful actually, uh, and you can actually customize uh, the sounds by using the various themes. Uh, and if you don't want to use chime, you can just make your own sound by uh, playing around with the frequency. So uh, just let me know how you guys like this video. And uh, you know if you have any other ways of creating audio notifications, I would like to know. So thank you very much. And um, uh, if you uh, like this video and you, and you want to uh, you know, uh, support my channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to comment. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.